it's your boy Butler. We got a no AC call, indoor fan is not coming on. All right, y'all, so the indoor unit didn't kick on, but the outdoor unit did. I feel our refrigerant line moving. So let's go ahead and take a look and see why this blow motor is not turning on. All right, so I'm checking our run capacitor right now. It's rated at five microfarads, and I'm reading 2.5. So it's our first issue. So let's go ahead and get a new cop and see if it bring back that motor. All right, y'all, so I'm checking the new capacitor. We got five, so we good here. Let's get it installed. All right, so we got the new cap in. Let's see. I'm checking between common and G. We got 24 volts, so we good there. All right, y'all, so I got 120 on my control board, but it's not passing to the motor, you see. All right, y'all, so on the wiring diagram, you see our motor, black is for AC, that goes to A. Then we check L1, so we checking L1 to A, and we got 120 there. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do now is basically bypass this board and send 120 directly to the motor. See, I got my jumpers, 120 from the transformer, going straight to our a terminal which is ac mode on the thermostat i got a call between common and g so we're still calling right now so i hit the switch so we got a bad board all right so i can't get that board today so in the meantime i just bypassed the board for the fan motor we got low voltage wires coming into our contactor we got line voltage coming in from the bottom then we got that speed tap cool wire on top so when we get a call for cool or heat that contact is gonna energize and we're gonna have a motor operating. All right, y'all, so I got my call for AC. Low motor is now operating. Customer should be good to go in the meantime. All right, y'all, so you see my Delta T. We've been running for about 10 minutes now. We good to go.